it is with great pleasure that we gather today and witness the joining of two hands and two hearts through the celebration of marriage. Garden for the pride, a strange of colors, so the sight is something I know. Jonah and Marissa have decided to make a lifetime commitment, a bond, a lifelong promise, whereby their hearts, their bodies, and their souls shall be united as one in marriage for the rest of their lives. This love is to be nurtured, to be lived out to the fullest in every aspect of its dreams, in the simple ceremonies of shared everyday life, in realized hopes and long deferred plans, and finally be thankful for each other. Love is always a gift. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Coincidentally enough, Marissa and I happened to meet in this very town of Kutztown, Pennsylvania, at good old Kutztown University. But the real adventures of our friendship, oddly enough, began when Marissa moved clear across the country to Arizona. Now we are fortunate enough to be living in a very technology-friendly age, so the distance between Pennsylvania and Arizona may seem far, but it is really not so far when you have Skype. Lord, you waited so patiently. I have toured all of Marissa's apartments via Skype. I have met Marissa's roommates via Skype. I have learned practical life skills, like how to plant a succulent via Skype. For those of you who know Marissa well, you know that she is loud and blunt, but also hilarious and intelligent and driven and passionate. In the beginning, I had my doubts that this unsuspecting kid from The Gap could keep up with her. <laughs> but now it's truly difficult to imagine one without the other. So now, several years later, our Skype dates now include many guest appearances from our husbands and our puppies. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I could not be happier for the two of you. It's the state of Arizona. Beautiful gift. And that heart is right in Phoenix. Jonah, I promise to always speak to you with compassion, understanding, and encouragement. I promise to share your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve them. I promise to give you my ear whenever you need to talk or vent about how your day went. I promise to walk, feed, bathe, and play with our little fur monster while you get to enjoy all the puppy cuddles. I promise to celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses. I promise to let you fight your own battles, but you can always tag me in if you need help. Above all, I promise to love you, not despite all your imperfections, but because of them. You are my love my life and I'll always be with you even when we're ghosts I love you I promise to lend you my shoulder when life throws you a curveball I promise to be your sword but most importantly your shield I promise to be your rock through the thick and thin so over the years I've had the privilege of being friends with Jonah Though this is my first time meeting Jonah this weekend, <laughs> his wife Marissa and everyone else who is gathered here to uh, celebrate this marriage, I consider Jonah to be one of my best friends. Throughout my years in middle school, high school, college, and now university, Jonah and now Marissa have been a big part of my life. I would spend just as much time with Jonah playing games than I would with my friends back home. We have always been here for each other and we've always advised and helped each other out in situations where guidance would be needed. Because that's how close of a friend Jonah is to me. To both Jonah and Marissa,
and everyone else gathered here today. I wish the best for the newlywed couple, and I hope their years ahead are both happy and prosperous. You'll be sitting on the street with a In the morning when you wake, if the sun does not appear, I will be here. If in the dark we lose sight of love, hold my hand and have no fear, I will be here. I will be here when you feel like being quiet. When you feel the need to speak your mind, I will listen. Through the winning, losing, and trying times, we'll be together, and I will be here. Marissa, I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign I choose you. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner. My partner. And my best friend. And to be my best friend. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Jonah, I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner. My partner. And my best friend. And my best friend. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. And now that you have stood before me and exchanged these rings and these vows and have agreed to be united according to the laws of the state of Pennsylvania, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife. Jonah, you may kiss the bride. Till I hear you.